Welcome to Webstar Plus. If you are a business, a freelancer, an influencer, or if you are selling a product or service, generating buyer persona is very important. You may ask, what is buyer persona and why do we need it? A buyer persona, often similar to a user or business persona, is a critical tool for businesses to understand their potential customers better. A buyer persona is a semi-fictional representation of an ideal customer developed using existing customer data and market research. These personas can help businesses get into the minds of their customers, allowing for better alignment of their products and services with the customer's needs, challenges, and motivations. Understanding who the buyers are, what they value, and what their buying processes are equips businesses to create more targeted and effective marketing strategies. It's through these buyer personas that businesses can personalize their approach for different segments of their audience, ensuring that their message is received by the right audience. Moreover, having a clearly defined buyer persona can guide content development, sales follow-up, and anything that relates to customer acquisition and retention. When the entire organization, from product development to sales to customer service, understands who the ideal customer is, they are better prepared to relate to the customer's needs and wants. This may result in enhanced customer relationships, better products and services, and improved customer retention. In essence, buyer personas help businesses to focus their efforts and align their services with their customers' expectations, enabling them to better address the market needs, foster customer engagement, and ultimately drive growth and profitability. Therefore, the use of buyer personas is considered the best practice in business and marketing strategy. So let's create buyer persona for your business using ChatGPT. Here is the prompt. Ignore all previous instructions, do not provide bullet points, do not self-reference, do not explain what you are doing. These lines are used to reset previous context. This is the new context for ChatGPT. Voice tone should be professional, writing style should be analytical, language English, business or services. Let's say you offer web development services. Business location, United States. I'm going to give specific and detailed instructions. Don't worry, you will get this prompt from video description. Here are the instructions. You are a marketing researcher. According to the context provided, this context, generate a detailed user persona for mentioned business or services in mentioned location. First, write user persona creation for mentioned business or services in mentioned location as the heading. Now create a subheading called demographics. Below you need to create a table with the two columns and seven rows with the following format. So we are asking ChatGPT to generate specific format, exactly what we need. So column one should contain data points like name, age, occupation, annual income, marital status, family situation, and location. For column two, answers for each data point in column one based on the specific market according to mentioned business or services. Now create a subheading called user description. Below this, generate a summary of the user persona in no more than 500 characters. You can adjust this limit according to your need. Now create a subheading called psychographics. Below this, you need to create a table with two columns and nine rows with the following format. Column 1, data points, personal characteristics, hobbies, interests, personal aspirations, professional goals, pains, main challenges, needs, dreams. Column 2 should be answers for each data point in column 1 based on specific market for mentioned business or service. Now create a subheading called shopping behaviors. Below this, you need to create a table with two columns and eight rows with the following format. Column 1. Data points should be budget, shopping frequency, preferred channels, online behavior, search terms, preferred brands, triggers, and barriers. Column 2 should be answers for each data point in column 1 based on the specific market of business or services as mentioned. Make sure that your response is structured in four separate tables and has a separate row for each data point. All right. User persona creation for web development services in United States. 
So this is the heading and this is the data for demographics, name, age, occupation, annual income, marital status, family situation, location. This is an example, not the real data. User description, that is the username, age, is a successful small business owner based in San Francisco, California. His annual income is around this much, married with two children. He is seeking to extend his business online and in need of web development services to enhance his digital presence. Psychographics, personal characteristics. He is looking to extend his business online. So his tech savvy, entrepreneurial, driven, hobbies, reading tech news, interests, technology, e-commerce marketing, personal aspirations, grow his business nationwide, personal goals, improve online presence, pains, ineffective website, lack of time. Main challenges, finding reliable web developers, needs, website overhaul, ongoing support, dreams, leading player in his industry, shopping behaviors, budget, this much, shopping frequency, major investments, yearly, preferred channels, direct contact, referrals, online behavior, research, reviews, comparisons. He is tech savvy, so he researches, reads, reviews and comparisons between products and services. Next, we have search terms, best web development services, preferred brands, not specific, triggers, business growth, tech upgrades, barriers can be cost or lack of trust. So this response will help you understand your customer more than he understands himself. This is an example, just an example by the way. Now you have a buyer's persona. You can create more targeted and effective marketing strategies using this buyer persona. Having a clearly defined buyer persona can guide content development, sales, follow-up, and anything that relates to customer acquisition and retention. So this technique of creating buyer persona will help your business a lot. Okay, I hope it helped. Like, share, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.